Gonna do another chapter and verse video today on 700 green effect. But before we get to that, I gotta take care of something I should have done a, a while ago. Definitely gonna need some more bags. It's a good thing they're on sale down at the Home Depot. Also, before that drought happened, these Jubilation gardenias were just exploding with blooms. They looked amazing. And then the drought came, they kinda went defense mode and they're coming back though, but they were looking, I mean, those things look right here. See the blooms on that? They were just covered with those. And then, like I said, drought happened, so. And blooms, not bulbs. I said it right this time. <sighs> not a shameless plug at all. All right, so chapter and verse, let's do this. Let's cover 700 green effect. By the way, this one is empty because I most certainly have put this to good use. Let's start off with the analysis that you're gonna find right here on the bottle. So total urea nitrogen, you're at 7%. You have sulfur in here at 3%. And of course your good old FE, your iron, that's coming in at 6%. The nitrogen that you're getting with this product is a 50% slow release nitrogen, and you also have 10% citric acid blended in there. As far as how much you're gonna use, that can vary. You can go as low as three ounces per thousand square feet, or all the way up to 12 ounces per thousand square feet. But as with most of the products, first thing you wanna do out of the gate before you use it is shake it up really well. Now what we recommend for most homeowners is to splice in 700 green effect into your fertility programs during the summer months. The reason for that, summer, it's getting hotter, we don't wanna be pounding the ground with a whole lot of nitrogen. So we're starting to lower our nitrogen input, but we want to keep a consistent green color. That's where 700 green effect comes into play. For both warm and cold season turf, a great way to start out with 700 green effect is eight ounces per thousand square feet. You can use the hose in sprayer, you can use a backpack sprayer, or you can use a walk behind sprayer like the unicorn sprayer. Whatever application method you choose to use, we recommend that you have a minimum seven to one water to product ratio. Now a few things to keep in mind with 700 green effect. Number one, because it has the iron in it, it will stain impervious surfaces. So your sidewalks, your driveways, you wanna be careful spraying around those. If you get it on there, it can stain them. The other thing, and probably one of the biggest questions that I get with 700 Green Effect is what other next products can you mix with it? And the answer to that is none. None of them. You cannot mix anything with 700 Green Effect. This is the one product that we sell that should be sprayed out by itself as a separate application. Now, 700 Green Effect is one of the most economical ways that you can fix chlorosis in both turf and ornamental plants. Now, chlorosis, what is that? Let's touch on that really quick. Chlorosis is just a really fancy way of saying yellowing of the plant that has a lack of chlorophyll development. Another cause for an iron chlorosis type of condition is if you scalp the yard down, meaning that you cut it way too low. And the reason it'll set in if you scalp the grass is because the grass is going to struggle to grow back after you've scalped it down. The roots can't take up enough iron to keep up with the pace of the new foliage that's growing back so quickly. So just make sure that you're mowing your turf at its proper height and you should be fine. So that's where 700 Green Effect comes in to correct that specific issue. So let's talk about the iron that you get within Green Effect. The iron that's in Green Effect is chelated with citric acid to create that chelation bond. Now chelated, what that means is basically 
creates a way for the iron to be chemically available to the plant. Now, what does that organic chelation bond do? It's going to give a consistent greening effect on chloritic plants, as well as give your turf a deep, dark green color. I think it's also important to point out that if you have an iron deficiency, that doesn't really mean that you have a lack in iron. What I recommend you do is to perform a soil test at the beginning of the lawn season, so in early spring. That will give you a pH reading, and if your pH is too high or too low, it can inhibit the plant's ability to absorb the iron up into it and utilize it, so it's getting locked up into the soil. If your pH reading is normal, take a look at your phosphorus level. If that phosphorus level is too high, that could also inhibit the plant's ability to uptake iron. On top of using 700 green effect, one of the other things that you can do to help iron uptake is just your basic lawn maintenance. So regular watering, regular cutting, both of those two things right there can also lead to a better iron uptake in your turf. That in a nutshell is 700 green effect. What other questions do you have for me? Drop those in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer them. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video, share it out, subscribe to the channel, make sure to click on that bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. Keep on keeping on my lawn care brothers and sisters from other misters and I will catch you ne next time. Get, get it? All right, bye.